Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthias, and today I am going to show you guys how to get screwdrivers in the most effective way possible and, you know, just share my knowledge with you that I've built up over time. So the first question you have to ask yourself before I show you where to get screwdrivers is why is screwdrivers so important? Now, the first thing is screwdrivers helps you to open any kind of locker and then it helps you to raid a base, okay? And then it helps you to do a kill box. So it's fairly, fairly important. But where do you use screwdrivers? Well, the first place you use screwdrivers, and I'm not going to lockpick this. I just want to show you, I just want to motivate you to go look for those screwdrivers and use this guide so that you can get loot like this. So the first place, the easiest place is a town, okay, where there's a police station. So we're just going to search each locker about three times just so that we can have a rough idea of what you can find, okay? So in a police station locker, there's key cards, of course, which you can get at every sing in every single locker, magazines, okay, knives, ammo, ammo, Guns, HSSF-19, one of the brand new guns, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, so we've got four down here. This is standard police station, two down here. There's an eagle. More magazines. Magazine for Carbon Hunter. Okay, so that's six, and then we've got the two up here usually. You do get police stations with more lockers, but that will be in the new areas like the big city um, or the coastal towns. Like there's a police station here that has more. There's a police station that is that is here that has more. I think there's a police station here that has more lockers. Okay, so we're just going to go through these quickly. Okay, so nice standard gear, just need eight screwdrivers here, not too bad, can definitely help you, okay? Then we get to our next place. Okay, so now we get to a point of interest. For instance, the military airfield, okay, or the airbase is a point of interest. The airfield is a point of interest. The prison is a point of interest. Um, the naval base is a point of interest, okay? The barracks, the train yard, the mech factory, everything is a point of interest. And of course, the little factory next to the airfield is also a point of interest because you get quite a lock, few lockers inside there. The dam, for me, the dam and the prison argues quite a lot on what is the best place, okay, for lockers. But I'd say the dam is second best, when it comes to the loot that you can find in these lockers, okay? There's definitely a difference in the kind of loot that you find at point of interest compared to police stations, okay? So we're just going to give right there, RPK, okay? There's definitely a difference in the kind of loot that you get, okay? At points of interest. You do get high, the chance that you're going to get high tier loot, is much higher and the dam has got nine you know you, you just need to bring nine screwdrivers here if you can be successful every single time and again we're very very lucky with this really cool gun which i have literally equipped for this video you know because i just i just love this gun and in the comments down below tell me what you guys think do you prefer um let's just see here do you prefer the sentry or do you prefer the snake sight on the pistol this is the sentry okay and this is the snake the snake for me feels more bulky and cooler but of course it's got a lot more red where you have to aim okay and then the sentry is much cleaner 
Okay, not only with the one dot, but with the outline. There's a lot less, um, you know, covering your covering your site. So just in the comments below, do you like the sentry, which is the clean one, or do you like the snake, which is this more bulky one? Okay, but again, this gun has got 19 rounds in, guys. Absolutely a beast to go into a kill box with and sort out those puppets. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's just search this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one. So there's a baseball bat. Two, another baseball bat. Three, some ammo. Like I say, there's only nine in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, must say, quite, quite unlucky today. And then, of course, if we're looking at points of interest, okay, the best one by far is the next one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, of course, the most famous one of all, the office within the naval base. Okay, which has around 13 lockers. Let's just count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably 12. Yeah, 12 plus five or seven plus five equals 12. Okay, so 12 screwdrivers needed when you come in here and there's these yellow, um, yellow containers as well or yellow cupboards. Okay which can also give you quite good loot, clothing and various things, night vision, sights, okay? It's very rare that you find something in these, but still, they're worth it, and then we get the nice bulky sight, okay? But if we search these 12 lockers three times, which I'm doing now for the first time, you guys will definitely see a difference, okay? So one, then we get a hunter scope, two, we get an M82 suppressor, three we get an m82 scope one it's a, it, svd magazine ammo magazine one two three one BMG armor piercing ammo, which you use in a BMG, which is very, very rare. If you have disabled that on your server, which I have, otherwise <laughs> it's a problem. But in any case, five BMG ammo, which is worth a heck of a lot. Another hunter, one. Grenade, two, three. AWP, one. Two, three, now two AWPs, one, two, three. And then of course, the chance that you're gonna get night vision in one of these three is very, very high, okay? Very, very, very high. Two night visions there, okay? The, two, the the loot multiplier is at set at times three on, on my test server, just so I can show you guys. Yeah, you can get gear as well. But let's go look at the last five, just to compare what we've seen so far from a police station, you know, to this, two, three. Suppressor, one, two, three. One, two, three. MK8 suppressor. One, two, Claymore. Three, one, two, three. And I'm quite surprised, but this spot is a prime spot to even find an M82, guys. 
Like I'll be quite surprised if we, you know, if you don't find an M82 within a few random searches. But I mean, you guys can already see a difference in the loot, okay? But of course, the danger level relates to the loot, okay? The chance that you're going to get killed, you're running to players here, is quite high. And of course, the place is defended by Megs. But I hope you can see the difference in loot from the police station to a normal point of interest to a major point of interest like this. Okay? Like I say, I do find M82s here quite a lot. Okay? So you guys will come here and even find M82s. If you don't find an M82, you're going to find a sniper rifle. Okay. And then... Except for raiding, which I'm not going to show you now because that's extreme end game and that is completely situational, we've got two more things to discuss. And then, of course, second last, guys, we've got cargo drops, which we know lands randomly, which we can use screwdrivers on as well. Okay. We can basically use screwdrivers or um, crowbars. Crowbars. Looks like it's not going to allow me here because I literally started a cargo drop event which has puppets around it. Quite interesting. Quite interesting that the cargo drop has puppets around it. But let's just go here to let's get the screwdrivers in here quickly. So you need six screwdrivers. So I'm going to go screw. Only need two red ones. Okay. Spawn in two red ones. And then I need six lockpicks. And yeah, just going to spawn six, six improvised lockpicks. Okay. Easy peasy. So to do a cargo drop, all you need is three yellow, three, six red screwdrivers. The users has to be full and six improvised lockpicks. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and pick the locks quickly. See what's in the first one. Two drivers and crowbars. Fantastic. Once you get to five strength and above, to have a nice, um, to have a lot of, um, you know, to be able to use the, um, the crowbar a lot and save screwdriver uses okay the crowbar will save you a heck of a lot of screwdriver uses once you are at five strength and it doesn't take too long to open up these lockers okay food milk food you can use this to fill up a car milk for vitamin d water so this is a random one we're doing here guys just a random one RPK magazines plus the uh, ammo plus the drum magazines. Okay, fantastic. Eighteen advanced lockpicks, which is perfect to use in a in a kill box, especially if you're struggling in a kill box. I'll always use this on the um, silver and the gold lock. Okay, I don't feel you need this with the bronze locks, but as soon as you go to the silver and the gold, you know, I like to start using this. So that's absolutely great. And three and four locks. Okay, even if you don't start with advanced engineering, or you don't have enough money to buy three force locks, that's a full door, guys. That's a full door. Now you can just go buy two double advanced um, zap protection at the traders, and you're set, okay? And then, of course, the final one, if you aren't motivated enough. Okay, guys. So we've got the armories inside of bunkers that we always know is good, okay? And the loot inside here is never bad okay usually uh, a bunker only has two armories which giving you eight lockers there are other lockers as well but i mean if you're just focusing on the armory lockers you only need eight screwdrivers 
and eight lockpicks, okay, to get in here. And clearly, the loot inside here is not too bad as well, okay? Okay, so we've, we've established that. The loot inside here is not bad at, at all. And of course, you do get two armories in most places, okay? Of course, the loot is set to times three now to give you a good example. But this is what you can find. If, you're, if the percentages work in your favor, then you can find this in one armory, okay? Armory is very, very, very good inside of bunkers. But the final motivator, the final motivator for you guys is the kill box, okay? So uh, this is my test server. I'm just going to open this door. Apparently I can't, so... Let's just go set guard mode to true. Okay, so now we can unlock it. Hello, dear contestants, and welcome to the Okay, box. so for this, we need wire cutting, okay? But let's go past the wire cutting. For this, you need lock picking. And what do you get behind this? Complete MP5, a complete MP5 kit with three magazines, with three ammo boxes, with the attachment, with suppressor, with with sight. Okay, that's one one door, guys. One door in the kill box with lock picking. Okay, gold one. We're not focusing on the gold one right now. Um. I think that's the silver it looks it looks quite shiny this is definitely bronze okay so we're just going to do the three bronze rooms complete mp5k kit same thing okay we're going to go to the third the double bronze we're going to open up the double bronze rpk with two drum magazines and 30, 90, what, 150 rounds, guys. So it can fill both drum magazines. So if you can open two bronze locks with without any zapper damage because of screwdrivers, that's what you can get, okay? And uh, the three bronze has really great loot, okay? It's not to say you need to open the silver or the gold to get great loot. This is the silver one. Silver one, okay. All of this is random, guys. So all I'm saying, you can get this behind the bronze locks as well, okay. This is a um, grenade launcher with seven um, grenades, okay, for the grenade launcher. And that is the main thing. And then, of course, you can get one of two C4 parts in the kill box, okay. And with this pistol, there's no real danger, guys. So like I say, hopefully I've motivated you by now, okay? And again, this is for everyone. A lot of guys know exactly what to use screwdrivers for. Other people don't. I need to get you motivated to get you searching. Because if I don't get you motivated, you're just going to watch this video and go back to your normal gameplay, okay? So let's implement where can we find screwdrivers and we're going to start right from the beginning level to the advanced level to the pro level okay so let's start at where do you start learning about where you can find screwdrivers okay so at the beginning what most of you will find out if you loot towns i don't know how many new players go directly to points of interest and bunkers but if you play normally, like most of us started, then you're going to be looting towns because they're a little bit safer, you know, and the, the, the fully geared players don't really um, defend towns or loot towns because they're looking for higher tier loot. So they are usually at the cargo drops and the points of interest and the bunkers, okay? So the first place you will realize that you can find screwdrivers is in these lower garages, okay? Specifically these brown shelves, okay, over here. 
you will be able to find rage crew drivers okay so it's this one there we go you can find rage crew drivers in these okay and then after a while you you will figure out that you can find screwdrivers in almost anything but the percentages the amount of times that you have to search that thing to get lucky is not you can't you can't plan around it okay like you can get a screwdriver in a car but it's very difficult to plan around looting every single car that you get to okay it's not sustainable. It's all about luck. If you search every single car there is, yes, you will find a screwdriver at some point. But is it the way to get screwdrivers fast? Not really, okay? So the beginner way to get screwdrivers is to search the garages, okay? It's as simple as that. And then these specifically are your own is your main focus point when it comes to screwdrivers of course the high loot percentage is letting the common scrap metal spawn all the time on a vanilla loot server you'll get screwdrivers quite a bit more but because the loot multipliers on times three it's pushing the very low chance loot okay the loot that has the highest percentage chance to spawn it's spawning that all the time and not spawning this a lot okay but clearly we can work on this Okay, clearly we can work on a system where we can get the red screwdrivers, okay, quite regularly. And these, these are the places that you start with, okay. Then there will be schools. Um, of course, cargo drops, you can get screwdrivers as well, like we just saw. And you can get yellow screwdrivers in cargo drops. But there's quite a big risk element, okay, when it comes to that. So beginner beginner tips of screwdrivers is basically the garages and then the school there's schools in certain towns which i am going to try and go to now let me just figure out what town has a school again i'm sure this town has a school okay just check here quickly i'm sure this one has as a there yeah, yeah i call it a school you guys can correct me in the comments if you want to, okay? But I call it a school. So the second beginner place to get screwdrivers is this place. Call it a mini school or whatever you want to call it. And then they've got these little desks here, which is also quite reliable when it comes to screwdrivers, okay? And I need to prove my point. To make sure that you guys can see, okay, it works over time. Okay, this one's being a bit hard-headed. Let's see if this one's better. Okay, that one's being a bit hard-headed as well. <laughs> I haven't searched these in a while, guys. But they used to give me, they used to give me screwdrivers too three four okay so that is not you can't rely on that with you know so far without testing then of course the workshops okay i call all of these workshops again the workshops have these tables okay that we need which will give us a screwdriver like we've seen but again it's pushing the low tier loot so Playing on high loot servers for red screwdrivers is never a good idea because the the service the loot settings tends to push the loot, the common loot, you know, like scrap metal and stuff, which you don't really want. But in any case, we know we get screwdrivers from these, okay? And there's a screwdriver, and you saw all the other loot that we got from it. And then these little cabinets as well, okay? Also, also a nice place. You can see the same kind of loot. As soon as you see the, the same kind of loot, you know what the spawner has in it. Because here we get bolts and scrap metal and wire. Bolts, scrap metal, wire, rubber, nails, okay? And wire cutter. As soon as we search this one, we see rubber, wire cutter. So we know this is the same spawn point 
that can give us the red screwdriver. And then if we look at these, clearly different, okay? Weapon repair key is fantastic, but clearly different. Uh, but again, you can find a, screw, a yellow screwdriver in here. Just gonna take you a heck of a lot of searches to find a yellow screwdriver in here, okay? So again, can you find a yellow screwdriver in these? Yes, is it reliable? No, it's not really reliable. You, it's It's purely based on luck. Okay, purely based on luck. And again, we see the loot that is in here is repeating itself. Okay, it's the same kind of loot. So we should be able to get a red screwdriver in here because this loot spawner looks like it's got the same table of contents. Same table of contents. Okay, so remember that. Think about that, guys. You know, maybe you guys haven't thought of that the you know how you can connect loot content tables to understand this thing that i'm searching has the same kind of loot as this thing that i'm searching okay so again workshops very 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 important so we've got the garages we've got the schools and there's a bunch of different workshops okay that's level one of finding screwdrivers the final level is probably cargo drops because if you go for every single cargo drop, you are going to get red screw, screw, screwdrivers and you are going to get yellow screwdrivers and you're going to get advanced lockpicks, which is a great combination for a kill box. Okay, so I'd say the cargo drop is right at the top. Now we're going to go to medium, okay, or let's say advanced, what you learn later on in the game. So, later on in the game, you will start realizing that these vehicle repair shops have got red toolboxes in them that for some reason give you yellow screwdrivers now and then, okay? Not every vehicle repair shop looks this big. The smaller one, the smaller variant of it, you will find at the, north, at the northern quarry. And of course, if you go to scummap.com, you can always go check the... Um, car repair shops or the vehicle repair shops but in the in the northern quarry there's a smaller there's like two vehicle repair shops next to each other okay you guys will see it over time but inside they look the same when you walk in whether it's at the airfield okay the airfield has got two vehicle repair shops there that you have to open the door and then inside, it will look like this, okay? On the smaller ones, there's that table is standing year and year, okay? And year and year. So it's just a smaller variant, but the red toolboxes are still in them, okay? So then you'll find out that these red toolboxes can spawn yellow screwdrivers, okay? Like, you'll just, you'll just see one one day. And you'll go, wow, that's quite cool. I found a yellow screwdriver. Okay, I found a yellow screwdriver. The thing is, is that sustainable? It is, depending on how much effort you put in it. Okay, depending on how much effort you put into it, it is definitely sustainable. Okay. So then you, then you find out that this motocross track over here has got the most amount of red, screw red toolboxes in the entire game, okay? I think, the, I think the, the train station might compete with this place, but when it comes to close proximity, the toolboxes win, okay? And of course, you can get red ones as well. But the main reason we come to the motocross track is for the yellow screwdrivers because instead of trying to find 10 red ones which will have different uses sometimes you get one out of three uses sometimes you get two out of three uses sometimes you get three out of three uses but if you find one yellow one you are at least finding again the yellow ones differ as well but most of the time you, it will average on about 10 screwdrivers that you're finding at once so you're going to get about 30 to 40 uses on average from a yellow screwdriver that you find, which is equivalent to 10 full red screwdrivers, which only takes up one slot instead of taking up 10 slots, okay? 10 slots is a lot in your inventory. One slot is much, much better, okay? But that is what you find out over time is if you, if you keep searching these red toolboxes, then you can find yellow screwdrivers and 
toolboxes, which is important to up upkeep your base. It's important to repair your crowbars. It's, cro it's important to cr repair your helmets and your armors, okay? And to build your base. We all know toolboxes are extremely important, okay? So if you struggle to find toolboxes, come search these red toolboxes, okay? And gather these toolboxes. And then maybe you find a lucky screwdriver, okay? A lucky yellow screwdriver. Who knows? And then I have found yellow screwdrivers not only in these vehicle repair shops, which you must search constantly, but again, there are chances in a car. But I have found yellow screwdrivers in the containers at the in the back of the truck, okay? So I have found yellow screwdrivers in the containers that are in the back of these trailers, okay? And then I found a yellow screwdriver as... As per normal, you can find yellow screwdrivers in various things. So I have found yellow screwdrivers in these few containers. Okay, we all know this specific one, you know, has a chance to spawn a yellow screwdriver. Okay, we all know that. So I have found a yellow screwdriver in these. Okay, but I can't do that consistently. But I can search those red toolboxes consistently to increase the chances. Okay. So that's what you learn later on. And then when it comes to getting screwdrivers fast, there are many options once you get to a pro level. Okay? For instance, on a pro, if, if, you, if you're very advanced at the game, you will know that a yellow screwdriver costs $9,000 at the traders, roughly. Okay? Roughly. But if you've got a good team with one, like the Guardians have got two wire cutters, okay, me and Ivan. So when you can do wire cutting easily, we all know that if you go into the big city, the suicide puppets respawn every like five minutes, practically, okay? So you can go into the shops in the big city, wire cut, go, you know, go away, wire cut, go away. Each and every C4 part that you get from a suicide puppet averages, like the one is 1,400 if you sell it, the other one is 1,600 if you sell it. So two suicide puppets on average gives you $3,000. So you only have to wire cut six puppets successfully. Of course, you'll fail here and there, but if you go in with a bunch of um, clean rags, you know, antiseptic rags or whatever they call it. You can keep healing yourself and you have to take a lot of sewing kits because the blast is going to destroy your gear. Um, or you, you don't even have to go there with gear. You can just put a put a chest, you know, um, somewhere for yourself. And then every time you're successful, you can just go put the, you know, uh, put a few wire cutters in the chest so that you're going to the puppet with like only a shirt. Um, or a pair of pants, okay? I never do it like that, but if you don't want all your gear to get broken by the blast of the suicide puppet, there are other ways to do it, okay? You just go in with a pair of pants so that you just have to repair the... So the blast only hurts one piece of clothing instead of the blast hurting all your clothing and all your armor, okay? You just go to the puppet with a, with a pair of jeans, which has enough inventory space, and a T-shirt, and every time you're successful, you go put the loot in the chest or in your vehicle, whatever you want. And then if you fail, you know, you just um, use the rags to heal yourself and you use a sewing kit to repair it. But six su successful suicide puppets gives you a, a yellow screwdriver. But like I say, that's on a pro level, okay? Um, and then, yes, every time you do a kill box... You will never run out of screwdrivers if you do not use all the kits from the kill box, okay? Out of, there's four doors in the kill box that gives you gun kits, and then there's one that gives you C4, okay? I do not suggest wasting your screwdriver uses on the enforced lock if you struggle with lock picking, okay? Because the amount of, attempts that you are going to attempt, okay, um, 
in on that enforced lock would have would have enabled you to do another kill box later on and open all four, you know, open the branch locks and the silver lock, maybe. Okay, silver lock you can do with luck. Enforced lock, yes, you could do it with luck as well, but it, the enforced lock in the kill box tends to waste the most amount of screwdrivers. Okay, and you can sit there all day if you're just unlucky all the time. So in the beginning, just go for the bronze ones. In the beginning, go for the double bronze without zappers. Exercise on that. Then you do the two single bronze ones with a zapper. You know, until you're comfortable with those three. And then you go for the silver one. But the point is, if you get all four kits in there, you can, you, you can keep your favorite one and then sell the other three or the other two, which will give you another yellow screwdriver and more advanced lockpicks or whatever you want to buy. So every kill box can fund the next kill box if you do not hoard the loot, okay? If you do not stack up on the kill box loot constantly. It can fund the next kill box very, very easily. And then as you go on, you will find different points on the map, okay, that will give you yellow screwdrivers. Um, for instance, one of them will be the big city. Okay, so here we are at the big city. And I always, there's the, there's the police station, okay. This is the big city police station. And you'll see this one doesn't just have eight lockers. Okay. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Thirteen lockers instead of eight. Okay. So these emptier, these newer kind of or bigger kind of police stations gives you more lockers, okay? So, I'm going to, from here, I'm going to quickly show you. I think I'm going to fast forward this, um, and you can just slow down for yourself. But I'm between the police station and the, sp and the whatever you want to call this, basketball court, sports stadium, okay? We're running down this road. Going right here, okay? First um, hunting shop is there. Going right here. The two other hunting shops are there and just around the corner on your left. Okay, those are the three hunting shops that can give you easy hiking backpacks and compound bows and good loot. Okay, of course, there's three clothing stores in town as well. So, great place to land. Can you die here quite easily? You know, on a populated server, yes, but the reward, you know, is equal to the risk. Then you get the, the restaurant here um, that can give you alcohol, you know, the alcohol bottles. And then you've got the tools and equipment. And here you can also find yellow screwdrivers with tools. Okay, again, the loot has been increased, but you can find yellow screwdrivers here. Okay. Again, tools, toolboxes, locks, nails, bolts, okay? Crowbar. You can come here, okay, and find various tools, and you can find yellow screwdrivers. And, of course, the big city has got a lot of um, garages, okay? And then, of course, it's got two vehicle repair shops as well. The first one is just down here. By the blue door. And there's a second one in here as well. Okay? So there's that one. And then later on you will see if you search this place um, properly, you can find yellow screwdrivers there as well. 
okay? Um, and then one of these two towns are quite nice for yellow screwdrivers. Um, but again, you know, the cargo drop is the big thing. Making easy money with wire cutting is a big thing. The big city is a big thing, okay? Um, so there are various ways instead of just going here. You can farm this spot, you can farm this spot, you can farm this, this spot, and probably this town, and this um, coal mine over here, the top part, not the bottom part. Um, you can find screwdrivers here. Okay, you can find screwdrivers at the scrapyard. So you can cover four points, guys. You don't. We don't all have to go here. Is this a good place? Yes. Okay. But this is a hot spot. This is a, like, it's hot year. Weather-wise, it's hot. So most of us want to live year. And if we live year or year, we can use this place. Okay? Or we can use this place. Or we can use this place. Okay? Or we can search every single town. Okay? And bunkers as well. If you search every single container in a bunker, you will find yellow screwdrivers. I give you my word. If you search every single, you know, camouflaged or co colored, you know, those big boxes with a, um, with a sailing over it, with a colored, with a colored um, cover or the camouflage covers. If you search every single container in a bunker, you will also find screwdrivers, but not consistently. Okay. So the big ones, when you found out everything is... The motocross track, the scrapyard, the big city, and that place right over there. Okay? And then everything in between is luck. Lockers. You can find them in lockers. You can find them in cars. You can find them in almost anything. But it's based on luck. And then if you really want to farm, farm them, go for those cargo drops, be competitive, and enjoy yourself. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, just click that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help me do this full-time one day, the Patreon link is down below, or you can just go ahead and join the Dream Team by clicking that Join button. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.